would like to endorse the sentiments and the points made by Senator Mary Louise O'Donnell. We really do need to uh, progress the, assistion, the implementation of the Assisted Decision Making uh, Act. I wish to raise two, uh, two, two recent reports with major significance for the traveller community. I wish to draw attention of this House to both of them. Firstly, the findings of the inquest into the Carrick Mines fire tragedy were published last week. And as we know, 10 people lost their lives in this fire. And I acknowledge how difficult the process must have been for the families affected in, um, in, 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 in being involved in the inquest. It is worth noting and highlighted in an excellent article by Jacinta Brack of the Irish Traveller Movement in today's journal that in the year following Car the Carrick Mines fire, fire, three other fires occurred in halting sites in Ballyfermot, at Limerick and Wicklow. Thankfully, there was no loss of life but safety remains a major concern, especially in overcrowded sites, um, uh, and this, has, this matter has not been adequately addressed. So, returning to the inquest report, I welcome the recommendations made. It is important for all of us to know about them, take them on board, and to monitor government leadership uh, and action in relation to them. According to the Irish Traveller Movement, since the report of the National Directorate for Fire and Emergency Management, published in September 2016, the vulnerability to safety for travellers posed by substandard accommodation remains a clear and present danger. The number of traveller families living in overcrowded conditions has risen and now stands at over 1,000 families, a rise of, of more than 150 families since the National Directorate for Fire and Emergency Management report was published three years ago. So the, um, the impact on people is, is rising in terms of the numbers of people affected. Further, the Irish Traveller Movement contends that there is a direct correlation between overcrowding and shared accommodation, which poses a fundamental threat to the safety of travellers, and three years on, uh, these uh, threats have not been adequately uh, uh, addressed. Um, according to the Director of the Irish Traveller Movement, Bernard Joyce, there has been no national audit of traveller fire safety since 2016 and no monitoring report on the completion of the programme from the first review. And while some local authorities have worked towards fire prevention strategies, there is no audit of completion uh, of ful or fulfilment. The inadequate provision of accommodation for travellers is at an all-time high, and since 2015 there have been other fires, as I have mentioned. The review of the Traveller Accommodation Act currently underway must take into account the inadequate overcrowding and poor standard of existing temporary traveller accommodation and its overuse for long-term stays. Um, the dangers faced by travellers in living in overcrowded conditions uh, remain, and I would ask the Leader to ask the Minister for Housing to, to outline what measures are in place, are being put in place, to make sure Carrick Mines never happens again. I also wish uh, the Leader would invite the Minister to respond to, to a Council of Europe, a European Committee of Social Rights report also published last week. The report found that Ireland failed to redress violations in breach of the European Social Charter related to five grounds for travel travellers, including insufficient provision and inadequate quality of tra traveller accommodation, um, and also um, uh, breaches in terms of how, we, um, we, how evictions are operated and lack of legal aid for those threatened. So in the light of both of those reports, uh, I would like if the Minister would ask the Minister for Housing to give a full update on the government responses, both to the Carrick Mines report, Council of Europe report, and also the review of the Traveller Accommodation Act, which is currently uh, in train. Thank you.